This is a patient now, uh, 45 year old with uh, uncontrolled diabetes. Um, he has foot pain in 2008. At the time, there's mild calcification of the arteries, but the kidney failure getting worse, and then there's a lot more calcification now in 2014. The skin is thinner, used to be 9.2 centimeter, uh, millimeter, now it's about 7 millimeter. So basically, there's not much good sub arterial supply to the foot. So maybe that's why the foot is easy to get infection and also getting smaller and colder. So patient has been picking on something uh, on the third and fourth finger. Uh, picking on something here, as maybe a callus. This patient was cutting her, uh, himself open in the, plant, in the bottom part of the foot. But later that the infection developed uh, in uh, maybe September of this year. Now it's October, so abscess has been drained, but the infection didn't go away, spread to the outer part of the foot near the um, fifth metatarsal phalangeal joint region. So there is a large skin defect developed now it's October 9, 2014. Um, there is a big 3.5 centimeter skin missing in the, over the, um, fourth and fifth metatarpal phalangeal joint region. The marrow signal is normal in the th uh, fourth toe, third toe, but not normal in the fifth toe, which is here, and here, and here. So that's called the osteomyelitis with septic arthritis. So because of the lack of uh, good uh, blood supply, so it probably may need uh, long-term antibiotics and maybe eventually have to be amputated. So that's a problem of not controlling the diabetes well and resulting in lack of blood supply and a kidney failure and um, uh, get e a small infection can easily develop and hard to treat and then the infection can to bone and then need a surgery and then before the surgery all completed the heart and brain may have problems, the stroke and heart attack can come. So uh, maintaining good uh, sugar control is very important.